Hello, Gemini, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon, this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box. Down below, check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. All right, Geminis. You guys already know what's up. We're going to find out what's going on with the month of December, baby. You must sage for the Gemini gods, okay? Yes, honey, yes, we made it to the end of the motherfucking year. Gemini, we did it, baby. <laughs> So, let's see what's going down for the month of December. I've already picked a pre-shuffle for you guys, okay? Because I wanted to be prepared <coughs> for my Geminis. <clears throat> One of the cards that I pulled was the Tales Man, Tales Man, Tales Man of Cookency, okay? So, for a lot of you Geminis, it could be a change that's happening. I had to look up this card. Okay, it says charging sacred objects of power. So, for some of you all, you could be putting your intentions into a new beginning. Okay, some of you guys definitely um, are ready for... A new field, okay? You guys could be calling in new energy fields before the month of December. A lot of you guys are putting some intentions into a matter, okay? Could be either your love life, your physical life, whatever the case may be. There's definitely a gift that you have, Gemini. Some of you all could be charging crystals, could be charging stones, energy fields. Some of you all could be artists as well. Okay, could be rock shells, shit like that, Gemini. I know a lot of Gemini that actually are crystal collectors and they wear crystals on a daily. Okay, so you could be doing some healing work. Um, it also could be that you're helping yourself move on in your spiritual journey and in the physical world, Gemini. But I'm feeling like for a lot of you guys, this is understanding your object of power, okay, and knowing how powerful that you really are. So, I feel like you're you're aware. You could be getting paid to be aware, Gemini, but a lot of you guys are definitely thinking of the light. Could be counselors, things of that nature, but you're definitely putting in a lot of energy towards a new beginning towards healing okay solutions you also have the truth revealed gemini okay so with that being said i feel like with the truths that you guys have had revealed to you over the course of the year all the way up until now just having revelations all together okay I feel like there was somebody who could have had some jealousy around you or there were a lot of jealousy, uh, jealous spirited type of people that you were dealing with, Gemini. So I feel like there was somebody who could have been stuck in their feelings and wanting to see a true per perception. And I feel like that's definitely where you guys are standing at this point in time, whether it be in your behaviors, whether it's causing you to question certain things. But it's saying that there are some truths revealed. Okay, Some of you guys could be sharing spiritual gifts, like I said. It also could be that some of you guys are really able to see what people are suffering from. 
Okay, how they manipulate certain situations with these truths that are revealed. It could be relationships that are growing into different pathways. Definitely could be something that's in a healthier, uh, that has a healthier expression. Okay, Gemini. So, like I said, I pulled some pre-shuffle cards for you. Two of the cards that I got first was the Ace of Pentacles, also the Six of Cups, okay? So, I do feel this is in your overall environment, in your mental. Some of you guys are dating back to some history, getting understanding of your history with the Six of Cups. Also, you could be in this understanding of your memory, okay? Childhood memories. I'm also feeling like there could be some people from your past that are still around. Okay, there could be somebody who's wanting to have an, ex an expectancy with you. But I feel with this Ace of Pentacles, you guys are on the move. You guys are ready for change and destined for change. Okay, so in your overall environment, there could be a change of your finances, a change of job happening in the month of December. Okay, there could be a lot of... Uh, Things that you're trying to blend together to make work for you, whether it be practicalities, whether it be love, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with childhood friends, or you could be dealing with childhood lovers. But I'm seeing overall in your environment and in your money, there's definitely a new beginning happening here. But you guys are in this, uh, it, it's kind of like a nostalgic type of energy is what I'm seeing here, okay? Temperance, Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I, it, to me, it feels like you guys are finding a balance um, with what makes you happy. Things in the past, okay? New beginnings as well, but definitely revealing a lot of truths. And also, you know, putting your power into um, what you want to manifest, what you want to bring out. What you're transpiring into the world, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down. We're going to find out what's going on in your romantic life, baby. Here we go. All right, Geminis. So, off top, we're going to get the romance angels, okay? Um, I feel like... Well, first, let's see about some past, present, and the future, and then we're going to get the romance angels, okay? So let's see what's happened in the past for Gemini. Off top, we have the Nine of Pentacles energy here. So you guys have broken free in your independence. Nine of Pentacles is gaining a peace of mind, okay? Feeling happy in your own element, in your essence, being at peace. So in the past, you guys could have broken free from the situation that had you tied, but now, to me, it's it's saying that you're understanding where you're at, where you stand. Some of you all could have been broken and happy in your independence with this nine of pentacles energy here in the past that caused you to move on. You have the nine of wands in your present. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel in your present, there's an action here that's needing to be um, pushed. Okay. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a uh, fire energy where someone is focused on making these actions, futuristic plans. Someone's needing to strategize here before they just make a move as well in your present. But to me, this feels like someone wants to make an action towards you or they're drawing themselves easily towards you, okay? In your future, you have the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here, Gemini. So this person wants to make an action towards you. Could be a love offer. But you have two different knights here. But these are all actions. These are all doers, okay? So in your future, someone wants to make a offer to you. Could be a romantic offer. Could be someone who's rushing in to make a romantic offer. But I feel as of right now, these characters on the board are trying to make some quick movement here. Okay. So for the month of December, I feel 
in the past, you guys have broken free in your independence. I'm also seeing with the Knight of Wands that there could be somebody who wants to make a rush or it could be rushing. Okay, but in the future, you got someone else who's coming in trying to make a love offer. So get ready. Okay, Gemini. So let's see what the romance angels have to say. Here we go. It's safe for you to love, Gemini. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay. <coughs> and also keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This person might be different than what you thought, okay, than what you expected, Gemini. Or someone could be thinking of you as someone that they didn't expect. Now, let's see what else we got. Retreat. So you and your partner could be withdrawing from the world, saying it's time to disconnect from the world, okay? Time to get away, time to break free. There is definitely some attraction here, Gemini. Someone is very much so attracted to you. They could be wanting to smell you, touch you, taste you. But I feel like, above all, this person has a major attraction towards you, towards the energy that they're going to put in this and the focus, okay? Definitely a main attraction here. Some of you all could be sniffing this person, smelling their clair, clair, uh, clairvoyance and things <laughs> things of that nature so Gemini we also have here codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so you guys might be codependent on each other okay but there's a strong attraction here that you guys are getting away from the world getting away from everyone could be going on a vacation could be thinking about traveling as well And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Whenever I get these cards, Gemini, I feel as though you could have felt like you've met this person already or you could be starting over with them, okay, that you've already made a decision about this person and what you think of them, all right? I'm also seeing here, love yourself first. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, Gemini. You already know what to do. Okay, some of you guys are definitely thinking of how this person is going to be deceiving you or that if there could be some deception in December. It's kind of like you're trying to figure out if there is going to be something to pay attention to, even if you do feel codependent or do feel attracted to this, okay? Now, for some of you Gemini's, it's a lot of passion here. It could be a lot of sexual passion. Some of y'all could be overlooking that passion and starting to see the deception fall off, or it could go vice versa. Okay, you've seen the truth about this person, and now you can elevate and graduate to something different, okay? So, let's see what's going on to my Gemini's. Let's see what you're working with for the month of December 2019. Coffin, okay? So some of you all put a nail into a coffin, close and shut the door. Somebody might be trying to return and open up out of their coffin and come back to you, Gemini. It could be possible scorpion energy, okay? Doesn't have to be. But there is somebody who is putting an end to a situation. Some of you Geminis could be having a pretend funeral. Okay. Because this person could be bringing in a lot of imprisonment. Okay. A lot of holding back in their mind. Feeling like there is no way out. All right. Some of you all definitely could be dealing with uh, someone who has a message for you. Or there is a message is what I'm seeing here. Could be that someone is wanting to end something with a message or someone is just overall trying to close that door, but they still feel like they can't escape those thoughts in their mind. So this could be your person. This could be you. But I'm definitely feeling like somebody has been stealing your time with this thief energy here. Okay. 
taking your time, stealing your time, however you want to, however you want to see it. Somebody is has a child that's involved, or there are some children that could be involved. Maybe that's why this coffin is here, is that someone's trying to put it into it, but they still feel entrapped. Could be due to children. Okay, someone could have a baby mama, baby daddy. You also have the lover's energy here. So there could be somebody who's wanting to make a connection or a commitment. But you're afraid they might be stealing your time. All right? Someone's really in their head about how this person could be suffering from closed-minded thoughts. Okay? Closing out cycles and phases with people that you feel could be stealing your time, taking your time. Okay, definitely in your head. Someone could be an artist here, like I said, or someone could be a writer. But I feel for a lot of you guys, you could be putting your thoughts and your poetry into motion. All right? But with this coffin energy, it's time to end a situation of feeling a certain imprisonment. So, let's see what Tarot has to say. Let's see what Tarot has to say. Here we go. Okay. So between you and them, I feel with the Ten of Wands energy here, you guys are putting a lot of work in between each other. Okay. There could be a lot of weight between you two. On your end, Gemini, I feel like somebody is definitely thinking of the things in the past. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, with that Ten of Wands, but someone is definitely feeling burdened or they feel like this relationship is a burden. You also have the King of Cups. So I feel someone, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, your person is definitely uh, afraid of displaying their emotions, of, afraid of telling their truths, okay? Being emotional. But I feel like there's something that's getting ready to be justified, I've been getting this justice energy for Gemini for a few weeks now. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Libra, Sagittarius, Aries, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Okay, but I feel um, your person, they feel like they have missed out on an opportunity. Five of Cups energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, very very prominent so far. This person definitely had a lot of lies and deception going on. Definitely a lot of deception. Could be a con artist. Could be somebody who's uh, opened up in some truths to you, but at the same time, you feel like it's not going to end the cycle because they are who they are. Mm -hmm. So, Gemini. How they feel about you is they definitely want some sex energy here. Ace of Wands up in this motherfucker. They have a new passionate start that they're wanting to begin. They might even have their phallus in their hand, honey. Okay, or just definitely somebody who got that burning desire. Queen of Wands, wow. Gemini, this person definitely sees you as a passionate, willingful, sexy new beginning. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They feel like they want to have a sexual start with you. Or there's definitely a lot of sex going on here. This Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. You're also very financially focused is what I'm seeing here. Gemini on your end. Okay, so whatever happened between you two about these lies... Or some sort of deception that could have came out. Or someone who was planning to be sneaky. There is a karmetic energy that's coming in. Okay. And sweeping this. Could be a commitment on the rise in five of principle energy here. So they definitely feel like you, they want some commitment with you. There's a major change happening with this tower energy, Gemini. Okay. And I feel in their motives. They're shutting themselves down because they already understood that they were being deceptive towards you. But they definitely want a passionate new start. Okay, this person could have 
They could be taking a break or there could be a break that's always pausing and happening. This fucking ping pong going back and forth with breaks and pauses, okay? This person could have had a break. They're going into some insight to find out how they really feel, okay? But I feel in their motives, they're wanting to travel. It could be somebody who wants to close out a cycle coming into completion. I feel like they want to get their way with communication with you or someone could be coming in with communication. Cancer by Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. Someone is really wanting that happiness with you, that communication, that direct communication, not just that bullshit talk, okay? But for some of you guys, this person might be overindulgent as well with the nine of cups. I feel in their motives, they're wanting to make themselves happy as well. Because you have the eight of swords energy here. Someone who brings on a lot of confusion. You know, someone who needs to put up some sort of boundaries or they're feeling bound and gagged. But I feel in their motives, they're wanting to come in and out. Possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They might be having some issues with what they think or where they think this connection is going to go. Okay, or where their life is going, their life's purpose altogether. They might just be kind of stumped. All right, you might be dealing with somebody that is ready to place the victimization on other people. Okay, always feeling like they're the ones who are out of control or they have things that are out of control when they really do have their life in control. But I feel their motive is to definitely make you feel bad or make you feel as though... There's love there, but it's really light with this Page of Cup energy here, okay? So, could be an offer that's coming in in their motives, a small offer, a small love offer. This person's wanting this, like, structured, controlled type of environment. So, I feel like they're wanting this big, grandiose type of romantic lifestyle, but they're just bringing in the page of cups, okay? They're coming in and out, bringing in the page of cups. So they could be going from a page to an emperor. But, you know, that takes years, honey. So I feel in their motives, they're definitely wanting this big, like, I'm going to be my own boss, you know, always explaining to you what they want to do. But really, their start is just the page of cups. So... Let's see their intentions. Will of Fortune energy here. So I feel like this person wants destiny to come in or there's some time. And their intentions. I feel like they want a relationship with you, Gemini. Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, all right? So there's definitely a union or a connection that someone is wanting to share with you and their intentions. Could be possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And like I said, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this could be in their sun, moon, or rising. But this person wants a new start, some money abundance. It could be money opportunities that they're wanting with you, but they do want a soulmate connection. Okay? Somebody wants some clarity as well. It could be about a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or someone keeping their options open, Gemini. They're wanting clarity here. Okay, let's see a hidden message. Are there any hidden message? Okay, we got the King of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles and the Magician. So someone is definitely thinking about a financial situation. It could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Energy here. Also Gemini, Virgo. All right. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of um, Earth energy. This person definitely could be trying to build up a third party situation. Or keeping a lot of pettiness underway with the five of wands. So be aware of that for the month of December. Could be somebody who's trying to stay in the drama. Keep a whole bunch of people in their roster as well. Yeah, but I feel like this person's kind of bored. Okay, somebody might be getting some messages on Facebook, Instagram, and shit like that. But to me, this is all out of boredom. Okay, could be multiple people that are involved. That they're Like I said, they're trying to keep people on their roster. So, I do feel um, King of Swords energy here. Some of you guys are just going to take this new leap. Could be with the Scorpion energy, someone who's wanting a restart. Okay, but I feel like you guys have detached and disconnected from someone who wants to come back from the dead. All right? Full energy. 
Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you have two court cards here. I'm feeling like with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, there's somebody who's got to make a final decision. It's definitely depending on the balance of it all, okay? And someone being blinded, no longer being blinded to a situation with love and value ship, okay? So, let's see about possible outcomes, Gemini, because I'm seeing that a lot of you guys have someone that could be trying to be deceptive about what they're really wanting from you. Let's see what's going on with my Geminis. Here we go. Gemini, for the month of December, we have the Four of Wands energy here. Okay. And also the Sun. So, possible outcomes. I feel like somebody wants this family unit to come together. It could be some clarity that someone had been waiting for. Okay, for some of you Geminis, definitely could be somebody who's dancing in the sun, getting some inspiration. Could be Scorpio energy here. Someone's wanting to bust out with the truth. Okay, definitely a lot of Scorpionic energy for you, Gemini. A lot of air energy here as well. Okay, and fire. So, they might have a mixture of this shit up in their chart, but I feel somebody could be putting it into this because they found out some truths. They were painting this picture. Definitely could have been Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio of things that were not. But I feel with the Two of Cup energy here, they're afraid that you're going to abandon them. Okay? Or someone could have been abandoned in their childhood. But I'm feeling like a lot of you guys, this person wants some permanency in your life, baby. But they're having issues with, you know, feeling left out. Feeling like there is a uh, side to you that you're not telling them or that you're preparing yourself for. Okay, especially emotionally. But you also have the Queen of Wands here, Gemini. So, possible outcomes. New beginnings for sure. Okay, you guys are about to end the month and the year with a bang. Okay, this person might be presenting some sort of offer to you. They could have changed homes. They could be wanting to change homes. Somebody's moving in, but they're being kind of blindsided or someone could be blindsided here with the four of swords. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody has a message. They want some love offers, but like I said with that other page, it could be very minimal, right? It could be a sex offer here as well or someone from your childhood or there could be children between you two. But I'm seeing that there is someone who wants to rekindle some love here. But it just goes back to showing you things can change at any fucking moment. You have to adapt. And Gemini's already know how to do that. Ten of Swords. Could be an ending. I feel like somebody's wanting to have sex like one last time. And then they just end it, okay? Or you could have ended it with this person and now they're trying to present some sort of offer. Because they could have been very childlike, a lot of um, a lot of lower level type of thoughts here. Could be dealing with a Cancerian as well, but this person definitely is wanting to make a move towards you. Okay, wanting to communicate with you with the Queen of Swords. Could be somebody who's talking their ass off. All right, but I'm seeing. With the Empress, you guys have new beginnings coming in for the month of December, Gemini. Could be that there's some pregnancies here, but be aware of those third-party situations. Somebody into that black magic voodoo, putting love potions and hex potions and shit together. Okay, poking at somebody. So... Nine of Cup energy here once again. You guys could be coming into wish fulfillment. <coughs> Excuse me. 
somebody is really thinking about someone that's in the third party or someone who's getting some attention here. They could be wanting to get your attention as well, Gemini. So be aware of that. Okay, but I feel like there's some wish fulfillment that's coming in. Somebody's going to be served with dinner on the table. Okay, but I'm also feeling like there is something that you need to look out for. Pay attention to these third parties. Somebody who's poking and prying at your heart. Okay, somebody who is, um, you know, keeping you around for their sake and not for the sake of love or security, long-term security. Okay, so let's get a rebel card, Gemini, for the month of December. So this could be a message for you or for your partner. Let's see. It says, make better fucking choices. Okay. And also, if you're pissed at where you're where you are, then stop taking yourself there. So for some of you Geminis, saying to make better choices, you already know the choices that you have ahead of you, especially with that three of swords, energy, ten of swords. So be aware of endings. Okay, people keeping you in third party situations, closing those cycles out. Okay, making better choices. It says the world needs your power, use your voice, just don't use it for dumb shit. So some of you guys could be talking, communicating with people. This is you coming into your power, using those healing powers. Okay, Gemini, you are talented and fucking amazing. So you could be using your talents to unveil a lot of things, to help people, okay, to heal people. But it's saying you know you're amazing. Nobody else can fucking tell you that otherwise, okay? Now, for some of you guys, I'm seeing that you might need to slow down on the drinking as well. And someone is obsessing, so stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. So your person could be obsessing over you or you are obsessing over yourself. But I feel self-love is always right, okay? So this could be your person. So, my loves, very interesting. Closing out for the month of motherfucking December. Says you're fucking amazing, babies. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you all hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRelsMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings. You guys are going to have to take the lead and really observe what's going on, okay? Focus, baby, focus. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.